Hi guys, I know I said that I'd finished with um, uh, this setup in the last video, um, but uh, I can tell you that um, uh, as uh, an inventor, I always look for trouble. I always look for things that can go wrong and those things that come out of the woodwork and bite you in the arse. And if you don't, um, they will come out and get you. And the last thing you want to do is be uh, building a, a piece of production equipment for Ford Motor Company or Sony or somebody like that and then have the machine fail the, the first time the operator <laughs> puts the part in the wrong way round or the first time a misshapen part comes along. You always have to look for what's going what's to gonna get you. And one of the things that occurred to me, and it only occurred to me when I was uh, vidit when I was editing the uh, the last video, um, uh, number fifteen, and that was, what if this um, uh, flip of current that I get, you saw that current jumps, what if it's a function of the power supply? Um, so that could just be fooling me, but if it isn't, I think it's a very interesting phenomenon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the power supply um, and I'm going to run it off a battery. I've got the bits and pieces ready to do the test and um, what I'm going to do is disconnect the power supply and I'm going to connect the battery in its uh, instead of the power supply. And, um, uh, I've got a one and a half volt battery that's uh, it was fairly well discharged. I haven't tried this at all yet because I wanted to uh, just let you see it as it happens. Um, I can leave the negatives now. I'll disconnect it all, and then there's no ambiguity. As I say I haven't done this before, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect a 1k resistor across the cell as well because if there is a, a current um, uh, coming out of the uh, out of the cell if there's a, a, a voltage developed on there I want to actually see it um, so I don't know if I've got the meters in shot Oops. Oh, that's just brought the trip out on my AVO. Sorry, AVO, I'll put that on to 10 milliamp. Mm. I'll put that on to 10 milliamps. Um, maybe the little battery was better than I thought. So that was the same sort of kick as we had with the power supply. Yes, look at that. That reversed. So it's not a function of the power supply. Um, it is actually a function of um, of the cell. I'll just short that out. That's I'm shorting the cell out. Reset the meter. Okay, so I'm going to connect. I hope I'm getting this in shot. Now, you're seeing that exactly the same as I've seen it for the first time. Um, uh, and I'm, 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 I'm totally pink with that. So, that means that this cell takes a pulse of current and that, that's more than a, a, a the little bit of capacitance in there. There's something going on in that water that I don't understand yet. I'm really glad I did that. Um, and I'm, you know, let's say you're, if, if you're getting me, you're seeing that exactly as I'm seeing it. And I did anticipate that I was going to have uh, some sort of uh, transient, you know, this is a, a uh, uh, a, a voltage control power supply and I thought maybe that that swing was an overshoot um, whereas it can't be an overshoot from the battery 
Sorry Mr Avo bringing out your cutout but I didn't anticipate it um, overdriving that uh, much. Anyway, um, I found that really interesting so I hope you found it interesting guys. Um, think about that, think of the implications of that. Um, so that's good okay thanks guys uh, for watching and thanks for the um the interest i really do appreciate that um bye, -bye.